guys, welcome back to Giant Foods. Would you guys like any appetizers? How about all of them? Yep, that's right. We're gonna do the ultimate appetizer platter. We got taquitos, we got sliders, we got mozzarella sticks, we got two types of boneless wings. Chili, because we're gonna make loaded fries and loaded tots. We also have these uh, supreme pizza stick things. These things are fire. We got six of those things. Uh, this thing ought to be pretty big, uh, probably close to 10 pounds. Now, I know this seems kind of lazy for a Giant Foods episode, but uh, this alone was $60, let alone trying to get all the ingredients to actually make this piece by piece by piece by piece. Um, but uh, why settle for just one appetizer when you can have them all? All right, so we got the uh, Sonic Tots here. We got an entire bag of Tots. We're going to uh, drop those out. You're going to eat your Tots? Are you going to eat your Tots? Get your own Tots. So we got some Tots on that tray. That's all the Tots. Then I got these uh, Idaho crinkle cut fries, because uh, Idaho is evidently known for their spuds. I don't like french fries. I, don't like fries. I actually don't like fries. That's the, that's the sad part, but fries are usually a pretty good appetizer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do the fries on there. Yeah. I've got these little uh, taquito things. They're uh, chicken, chicken and cheese, and cheese yeah. flour tortilla. Uh, this is very uh, bar food-esque. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, lay some of these out here. I don't know if I can get them all on there. We're going to try. We'll try our best. We're going to try to get them all on there flat. All right, so we got tray number one going in. And then we got this entire bag of fries going in. I think I need a bigger oven. All right, so that's going to have room for a bigger oven. That's going to go ahead and go. Yeah, I really don't. I need like one of them industrial ones, you know what I'm saying? So uh, fries and tots probably going to take about a half an hour in the uh, oven. Uh, then we have the sliders we'll heat and we're going to do the boneless bites and the uh, mozzarella sticks. We're going to go ahead and do them in the air fryer. And then um, these little pizza supreme things, we just pop those in the mic. And then uh, once all this stuff is actually warmed up, we'll go ahead and start putting it together. I got some uh, Colby Jack and Monterey and also some sharp cheddar here to um, put on. Because I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to do like a pizza pub fry. Uh, I got some pepperoni for on those and uh, I'm gonna put some marinara sauce on them. Those are like the tiniest cheese sticks. <laughs> those are the tiniest cheese sticks I've ever seen. <laughs> They're like one inch long. Now these things here actually don't look bad. They're uh they're TGI Fridays. Now the, the funny thing about this thing is this is entire entirely from the dollar store the dollar general and this was sixty dollars now like five years ago it probably would have been like twenty dollars but sixty now i wouldn't have wanted to buy it at weiss it would have been like two hundred dollars because weiss it's completely it rip off uh -huh. <laughs> i completely went out of my comfort zone on this one for you guys I got buffalo witch ones, which oh, will probably be spicy. They'll probably be spicy. And uh, french fries, obviously, because you know I'm not really a spud lover, but we got those, we got that, we got the fries in. And uh, like I said, we're going to do like a pizza pub fry. And then we're going to do or a, a pizza pub, uh, either the tots or the fries, I haven't decided. Then we're going to do a chili cheese, uh, either a tot or a fry. So it's going to be one, and the other one's going to be the opposite. We got our fries. Look at those golden brown going on this little tray here. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shove all that to one side. Oh yeah. I got a little dirt. I got a little bit of Which isn't a bad thing. We want a little bit of color on. We got our tots. Tots and taquitos. Tots and taquitos. Those taquitos are probably good. Those taquitos probably are good. Let's go ahead and get our tots off. Uh, these cook pretty fast because they were on that bottom rack, which I forgot from the other day when I cooked the ham Easter. And there's our taquitos. Got those going down. Those things actually are probably already like chicken and beef. Is that like, put your hands on the noodle? Hands on the noodle. Chicken and beef. Chicken. Name that movie. Comments below. Oh, there's a better shot of a 
chicken nubs. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do some um, loaded uh, pizza fries here. So we got some pepperoni. We're gonna drop that down. What am I doing counting it out? Just put it on. Like I'm not gonna eat it all anyways. Whole bag of pepperoni. Um. We got a bag of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. My ham's a little sleepy. And you're wanting, I know what you're asking. Aren't you gonna heat that up? The answer is no, because the fries, fries are, are like molten up. lava. The fries are like molten lava. So we've got our pizza fries. Now we're gonna do a set of loaded tots here. I got some chili, which Mr. Poole does not like. I, however, do because I, just, I like chili. Um, I'm top that off like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the fries down. Got the uh, cheese on there. And drop some more cheese on there because it's cheese. Because why not? got our pizza sticks here, which these things are absolutely delicious. I love these things. They're kind of like a Hot Pocket. And I'm going to let you on a secret. Those things are like liquid magnet. We've got our sliders going on. And these are White Castle sliders. I actually ate like 60 of them things one time. They were delicious. We've got our Ma sticks done. Did them in the air fryer because mm -hmm. that's fire. Look at that. Air fryer magic. Alright, Mr. Pool. And then we got the uh, honey barbecue wings, boneless, and the uh, buffalo. And uh, we're going to go ahead and slide them in right on there. And with that said, we've got the ultimate appetizer platter. Feeds 20, or just me. Oh, huge! Ooh! It's actually kind of heavy. All right, guys, so you saw in the uh, clip before there, Mr. Poole gave me the assist, and uh, we went ahead and put together the ultimate Giant Foods appetizer platter. This thing's about 10 pounds. It's huge. It's actually pretty heavy. Uh, we got some uh, pizza pub fries over here. We got some laid, loaded, laid, loaded tots. We got some uh, two varieties of boneless wings. You got barbecue honey and you got buffalo. You also have six pizza sticks. You also got 15 taquitos. You got four sliders and an entire bag of mozzarella sticks. So let's do this thing. All right, guys, so without further ado, the ultimate giant foods appetizer platter challenge i even got a little clock here three two one three uh comment below before this even starts go ahead and comment below what your favorite appetizer is it doesn't even matter if it's not included on this thing there's like mini tacos and macaroni and cheese bites which i actually tried to find because those are fire but i couldn't find any so got some moz dicks here mm. Good call by doing them in the air fryer, Mr. Cool. Yeah. Real good. Actually, I have a little crunch on this soggy mozzarella sticks. Bingo. Yep, bingo. Ah, uh, these fries and these tots are probably gonna be like liquid magma. I probably should uncover them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Liquid magma. See that? You guys were worried about the stuff going on dry. Or going on cold. It's uh, it's actually melted the cheese. Mm. 
Back when I was uh, a little younger, I used to go to the uh, pubs all the time and I would always get pub fries because why not? Mm, that's good. I honestly can't, I don't think of any time I've ever had pub fries in a challenge, so. The fries are actually like perfectly edible. interested to try these uh, <clears throat> little buffalo bite thing. Well, that's a high barbecue one. That's pretty good. Here's the buffalo. The right bitch pool fire. If these things weren't so expensive, I'd try to eat like 200 of them or something. These things are made by TGI Fridays in the box. They were like $7 a box. Oh, crazy. Well, wings are expensive yeah. There's some uh, loaded tots here, lots of chili beef. Mmm. That's worth it. If you're a chili fan, then. I'm not blue if you're a chili fan. You're seeing. <laughs> I don't know, so far I have to say it favors the uh, peach pup fries. I don't know why, these are kind of fire. I need like a garlic butter drizzle though. That'd make me better. Oh, I definitely have garlic. I have a great big tub of it. Two of them. Go, go. I eat two tubs of garlic. <laughs> I eat two tubs of garlic, yeah. You know, these may be the smallest tea stacks I've ever eaten, but they are really, really good. They're like tiny sticks. Remember, it's not the size of the hammer, it's the nail you're throwing in there. Something like that. Six, almost seven minutes in on this already. You know the goal of an appetizer is not to appetize you, it's to distract you because your food takes so long to get to you. <laughs> I think that's their intention. These toss with this chili on food too. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's like a hormel chili with um, beans. The old White Castle slider. If you never really look close to the White Castle, you'll notice that there's holes in it. That's because it allows it to look bad. Mm, even for a microwave.
Nice cheese. Nice onion. <coughs> Uh -huh. This one's Pizza Supreme. I got pepperoni and Pizza Supreme, that's all I got. The Dollar General I went to didn't have any uh, uh, breakfast ones or uh, the Taco Bell. Right. Thirteen and a half minutes in. I'm gonna get a bigger spoon for this cup. <coughs> Feel like I might need it. <coughs> Make it a little easier. No cheese. Tell me anything better than milky cheese. Should have put on this with some bacon. Setup works really well. Now the sinks in the I would assume most of you have seen the uh, new kitchen <coughs> versus the old. Keep your sex room. Can't be helping. You won't be sorry. <coughs> it's about 18 minutes in, and I got the uh, pup fries here left.
got real cold. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who am I probably ever gonna get? Oh well. At least it didn't burn my face. I don't know if I might eat it first, it wouldn't have got cold. I mean, basically, it's been sick out for 20 minutes. No quiet way to eat off the platter. I like the clank. Twenty-three minutes. Oh, look at that! I finished my entire appetizer platter before the uh, waiter even came back to ask me what I wanted to eat. All right, guys. So there you have it—the uh, giant appetizer sampler, giant foods platter challenge. Took about twenty-three minutes. Uh, you know, it didn't really rest through it, but it was delicious. Uh, have any more suggestions for giant foods? I'm gonna try to keep these things rolling now. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in life, but uh, trying to get back into the kitchen here and do some. Uh, Eat some giant foods. So, comment below what your favorite giant foods episode is, or if you have any ideas for giant foods, comment below about your uh, favorite appetizer. And uh, until next time, go to a restaurant and get some appetizers, but just like pick one. Don't try to eat them all. Eat them all.